It's a sure way of sitting out the global financial crisis and getting away from it all. A group of six volunteers from Russia, France and Germany has begun an isolation experiment that simulates a manned flight to Mars. It will be very exciting to know how we as six crew members will behave within that long period of time and in the limited space. Three and a half months in complete isolation with no real-time help from mission control, no cell phones, no internet and a 20-minute communication delay. The crew members will have a chance to enjoy the same food served on the International Space Station. Located at a Russian research institute in Moscow, the complex imitates a spacecraft, a landing module and even the Martian surface. The current experiment is just the first stage of a larger study called Mars 500. The number of days a return voyage to Mars would actually take. What does one need to qualify for the project? One has to be robust, emotionally stable and a motivated team worker open to other cultures. I think our crew will be really multi -language. Inside, the crew members will be closely monitored carrying out unique medical, biological and engineering experiments. The results will be used in preparation for a real flight to Mars. Although the experiment does not address the most dangerous factors in long-term space travel, such as solar radiation and weightlessness, the project is still very ambitious. Mars 500 symbolizes Russia's resolve to be a world leader in space exploration, no matter what the cost. The Soviet Union began to prepare for a manned flight to Mars back in the 1960s, but had to ditch the costly project a number of times for lack of funding. Today's Russia realizes that a flight to Mars is not a go-it-alone project. Although it will take at least one more decade to prepare for a manned mission, international cooperation and money from corporate sponsors are required even at the initial stage. Mars 500 may be just the beginning. It's not really that we are doing the first step towards the Mars, but at least we raise our leg. By hosting this ambitious experiment, Russia is guaranteeing itself a ticket on board the first space flight to take man 36 million miles away to the Red Planet. Alexei Kuznetsov, CBS News, Moscow.